Hi, and welcome to Three Questions With. Got my friend Marianne with us from Short Sale Mitigation. Hey, Marianne, how are you doing today? And thanks for having me on the show. So, Marianne, I talk to a lot of people about real estate, but I don't really have any conversations about short sales except with you. What's going on in the short sale market? Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so short sales are unique. Um, people tend to um, shy away from them because they're a longer process and the bank controls a lot of that process, which is still the case today. Um, and I think a lot of agents um, prefer to work on, of course, uh, something that might be a little bit more mainstream and easier. Um, and um, that's where we come in. So we're kind of a, a company that will work on the short sales. Uh, there's still plenty out there. There were over 60, I think there was 6,300 or 6,100. I have to look at my stats. Wow. Um, properties in Massachusetts that went up for foreclosure last year or were getting order notices. So, I mean, it's still part of a market here. There's still, there's still um, short sales and foreclosures happening. So. That's amazing. So what do you think separates your company from maybe some of the other people out there? Well, um, we are, are one of the few, if only, third-party negotiation firms in um, Massachusetts, and we um, only focus on short sales. So we don't list property, we don't sell property, uh, we market and we get our own properties, and then we give those out to agents that we have established relationships with. Um, it's 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 unique in that regard. We're well, we're bringing the sale a lot of times to the agent. Um, but we'll work with anybody. I've had agents that come in and they, they'll bring a sale to us. I've had attorneys come in and title companies. I've had investors come in and we kind of review each of the pros and cons to the deal before we actually take it and um, try to eliminate all of the hurdles before we start the sale. And I don't think a lot of people take the time to do that. Um, and we also educate throughout the process. We're constantly educating the agents uh, especially if they're a new agent and ha they've never done a short sale. And of course we then work with our more experienced agents. So um, we bring a lot to the table for the agents. We bring a lot to the table for the homeowner where we streamline things. We know what's needed up front. Um, Cause it can be overwhelming for anybody. It's overwhelming for a homeowner. It's overwhelming for an agent. And uh, we really do try to keep the process right on track and keep the flow going. So the short sale can get approved. Speaking of education, you do seem to do a lot of training and a lot of education. Let's talk about when and where that stuff happens. Yeah, so we're very lucky. Um, we teach in New Hampshire and in Massachusetts, and we can give CEU credits to real estate agents in both states. Uh, we have gone all the way over to Keene, New Hampshire, Laconia, New Hampshire, um, all the way to the Cape to teach. Um, we're very active in teaching, um, and Nick and I are constantly looking at our course and revamping and trying to keep it up with what's actually happening in the short sale market rather than just having, you know, a flat course that just sits there for, and doesn't change from the minute you start teaching it. Um, and it really is great. You know, we're, we were in um, Westford last week and we're going to be in Haverhill next week. So, um, but the beauty is we will, we really will span both states as, as far as we can just to get that education out there so we can help agents in case they do want to do their own short sales. Um, if they want to do their own short sales, they can, and this is what we bring to the table for them as well. So if someone does want to come to an educational event, how can they find the upcoming events? Um, usually on our website or on our Facebook page is probably the most accurate place. So um, if they just go to our Facebook page, which is Massachusetts Loss Mitigation, and they click on events, usually I have them um, up there and shared with who's ever hosting the event or wherever we're going. Um, they can always email me personally, uh, Marianne at shortsellmitigation.net. If there's an event coming up, um, we will let them know. So uh, yeah, it's, it's a it's a good way to um, get the latest and greatest information for anybody who is interested in a listing a distressed property and knowing how to do it properly. Awesome. Marion, I really appreciate you taking a couple of minutes to jump on the show. Thank you so much for having me, Kevin. I really appreciate it. You just watched Three Questions With, brought to you by the New England B2B Networking Group. To learn more, newenglandb2bnetworking.com.